Hi guys, back here doing the last of our Pod HD 500X uh, videos for today. I'm joined by Paul Heimarsh from Line 6, and what we're going to show you now is how to use the Pod HD 500X with uh, a normal guitar amplifier and a normal guitar. So all the other videos that you've seen, uh, if you've watched the series, have been showing the sort of the Line 6 Dream Rig concept, which is where you're using it with a Variax and with a, a DT amplifier or an L2 speaker. Um, but what we're now using it with is with a, a regular electric guitar, we've got a Chapman Cat 10 here, uh, a regular tube guitar amplifier, Orange Rockerverb 50 Mark II, and we're using what we call the four cable method. So Paul, do you just want to explain what the four cable method is to the guys? Yeah, well the four cable method is a way of using four cables, obviously, <laughs> and a way of putting uh, all of your effects in the right part of the, of the signal chain. So different effects like reverb and delays, chances are you want to have them post any kind of distortion effect, otherwise you just end up distorting your reverb and it all yeah. turns into a big horrible, a big horrible mush. Um, so it's a great way of running all the effects, it doesn't just apply to line 6, it applies to everything. That's probably one of the biggest questions I kind of get asked about in stores. Um, one of the things that you can do with the HD500 is we can also have it so that you can use any of the 30 preamps on the pod, but you can also incorporate, if you've, if you've bought yourself a, you know, a, a nice amplifier, you may not want to lose the preamp on there by running the pod straight into the power amp section, which really, I guess, is probably the best way to, to yeah. run the pod. And this is what this allows us, to, allows us to do. And the easiest way to think of it is maybe by you kind of capturing the preamp stage of your amplifier into the effects loop of the pod because that's, that's obviously yeah. going to send the return on there, yeah? So by doing this by plugging the guitar into the pod, we then take the send from the pod into the input of the amplifier, the send from the effect loop on the amplifier into the return on the pod. So there you have it, that's, the, that's the, going to be the orange preamp captured in the pod. Um, and then we take the output from the pod into the return on the, on the orange amplifier in this case. So that enables us to run the pod preamps again straight into the power amp section of an amplifier. So you're not doubling up with having two preamps or two power, you know, two power amp stages or model power amp stages, that kind of thing. Um, on the pod, we can then assign the effects loop to uh, a foot switch, and at the same time on that foot switch, actually toggle the between the, switching the, the pod preamp on yeah. and switching the, the the orange preamp off. So with it, with one foot switch, we're we're, we're we're switching between those two. It's not a. Well, let, let, let's demo what you mean there. So yeah. as it stands at the moment, you're hearing uh, the orange rocker verb as it is with no effects other than a, a, a sort of an echo delay type effect from the pod, yep. which is being applied post sort of preamp, if you like. So it's essentially as if you were running the uh, reverb through the sort of effects loop, if you like, of, of the uh, rocker verb. Yep. So here's the rocker verb's clean tone. <laughs> to uh, the, the sort of close-up camera we've got here, you can see I can apply effects before the guitar amplifier, and that uh, essentially is the same as having compact pedals and sort of plugging them into the front. Or I can apply effects after the amplifier, which is the same as running them through the effects loop. Or, as Paul said, I can just say, actually, I don't even want to use the preamp in the rocker verb anymore. I want to use one of the inbuilt preamps in the HD500, which I do by pressing this button here. So now we're going to switch off the rocker verb preamp, and I think we're using a boogie sort of emulation. And I can prove to you uh, that that is uh, uh, bypassing the preamp section now, because if I just turn the clean volume all the way down, So really you have sort of almost endless, uh, you, you've got all the juicy goodness of your tube amplifier if, you know, if, you're, if you're sort of a die-hard, you, know, you want to avoid using the modelled kind of tones out of a, a pod, you can just elect to use stomp boxes, reverbs, choruses, delays. Let, let's find a, 
In fact, here's a good example. So I'm going to use the, a, a mild driven sound on my um, orange rocker verb from the actual rocker verb's preamp, but I'm going to elect to put in the tube screamer from here. So the, the tube screamer you can see is, is the effect that I've got the little cursor above on, on close up cam here. And all I've got to do to just turn it on and off is just toggle uh, the enter button here, which of course I could assign to a foot switch if I wanted to. So here is the drive sound from the rocker verb without the, the preamp. And you'll see when I engage this, I won't ask Paul to stop playing, he'll just keep playing and you'll hear it sort of boosted to a lead tone. So. previous videos you can either just assign, you know you can go with like one button method so one button pre you know turns on one particular effect or you can go with patch mode where again one button uh, completely changes the tone of your guitar and fun. The, the only thing that I, that I don't believe that you can do is the, the pod can't control the actual channel changing on your amplifier can no. it? It can't be. So what I'm going to do now, just to sort of play out this video, and you know, Paul, thanks very much for coming down today. And if you want to find out about more about Paul and some of the stuff he does in his sort of solo work, you can check out his website at paulhindmarsh.com. We'll put a link to that at the bottom of this video as well. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the the dirty sound on the rocker verb. So we've switched the preamp section off of here, and I'm just going to fiddle through and add some different effects and then some flavours that I like. Um, just to give you an idea of what you can do with the, the four cable method. Uh, it's very, very simple to do, so you should definitely, as long as your amp's got a, an effects loop and a, 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 a nice drive sound, I would highly recommend you doing that. Uh, and it does mean that you've got this incredible you know, box of tricks at your feet in, a, in an HD500X. Um, cool, right, well, you play away, Paul, and... Thank <laughs> you. 